it kept everything within certain parameters. I think we need to undergo an <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to take testimonies and experiences in the conference. I mean, this is just about celebrating the goodness of God. Um, I'll teach and preach, but the fundamental mistakes we often make is we are so quick to ask and seek and, you know, not weak to come back with gratitude to say thank you. Are so quick to spend more time seeking when it comes to thinking we just feel it's inconsequential. If you have that kind of friend, you want to hang around him too often. In fact, sometimes when you see his call, you pretend like you are not. And in some cases, which are you may have to block them. Because when it comes to seeking and you know making demand very quick. But when it comes to gratitude, they hardly remember that considers nothing. Give the glory to God, forget about me. So when you needed something, why didn't you go to God's streets? Why did you have to go, come to man? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes we demonstrate the same thing when it comes to God. We must learn to appreciate Him. Take time to express gratitude. Take time. Just, oh Lord, thank you for that thing. No, take time. And what we don't know is that God takes note of all this. I guess none of them would have said, ah, thank God, I'm finally here. And then they move on. One of them had the common sense to know that it should go back actually, take time to express genuine gratitude. And then it more than the others got. That's always the case. Those who are genuinely grateful take time to express gratitude always get more than others. For those who are blessed with gratitude would think like, maybe, you know, it doesn't really mean much. God sees my heart. You know, God sees my heart. Pray. Didn't you know that God saw your heart? Why did you have to pray? Why didn't you just say, God, look at my heart, know what I need. Supply. So we must time to be grateful. Psalm chapter 67 verse 5 to 7. This is what happens to those who understand the power of praise. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. At what time will the earth yield our increase? I didn't hear that. At what point will our God bless us? Huh? So you see powerful things happening here as a result of what we take for granted. He said, then, then, the earth shall yield an increase. In other words, what you plant multiplies by. The works of yield faster, better. When you create an atmosphere of peace and thanksgiving, the works of your hands yield faster. 
then God is literally obligated to do more for you. It's the name of Jesus Christ. So think of it. You have a friend who every time his phone call comes, you know there is a need. There's a request. How people have sought people? Yeah. Oh, yes, I, I have a couple of them. Some of them, many of them are, are, are to tell them, say that Pierce, it's only when you have a need you remember me. And some of them have to warn them before I block. I say, if you continue like this, I may be a bit undisposed to your cause. <laughs> and they perceive how to block them. You see, it's simple. You don't have to wait till there is a need to make connection. It's so simple. But it tells you how self-centered and selfish certain people can be. Sometimes we take the same attitude to God. So that God is obligated to those who have enough common sense. Because it's not any super revelation, just common sense. Enough common sense to be grateful. To be grateful. How many people thanking you for what you did for them time? If those kind of people ever come to you with a need, would you want to turn them down? Huh? No. You want to find a way to meet that need. So the Bible says, when the people praise the Lord, the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. Why? Because we extend genuine appreciation to Him. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the next verse. God bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall be as a result of just one thing. One thing. You see, you don't need to know all the secrets in the Bible. You don't need all the secrets. Just know one, two, or three and dedicate yourself to doing them, staying on them long enough that will yield for you. And this is one of the secrets. Gratitude. So we took time out to pray. And trusted God. And even after that, we come in one day. In Jesus, we are meeting here every night. At continuous, sustained vigils. And we made certain presentations to God. Did God come through for us? Check even the physical one. The real We decree that the rain was suspended and then be released after the crunch. Can you? I don't know if you experienced that heavy wind. Can you imagine that heavy whim on any of us? I started out to run inside. We'll be using this pulpit for. God answered us. God answered us. Declared shall be no rain all through 
and there shall be no excess heat. Go through. We serve a faithful God. It's the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, um, so with some testimonies, some encounters you had because of the conference, some things that made a difference in your life in the course of the conference. Praise God. Hallelujah. So um, I had a conversation with someone the day before yesterday. And she was asking me that my testimony that did it happen during the during the conference. I said not really, but I felt when you said that there's some things that was for you that you are you realize you know maybe because the money has not started yet you trivialize that she is nothing. God you know brought me to that point that I should give that testimony. Because it's something small. You know, and after that testimony, sir, that they ended on, on, on Monday. Monday. Tuesday, I received a letter from one of the that we, we've been working so hard on. And they're giving us appointment as their recovery agent. The total wow. figure for that car, sir, it exceeds the six that the bank gave us. Wow. That single, I'll tell you the figure later, it's, it's much more than the six. That the, the bank gave us to start with. Wow. And that, that letter, he said, the person said the, the letter came yesterday, but the man didn't arrive. They will have come Monday. And that there's something that I had to give that testimony because something is. And I told the person, I gave that testimony in faith because I'm expecting something more. We serve a faithful God. Come on. I appreciate God. We serve a faithful God. You see the power of testimony. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word testimony. So even with testimony, expect more. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Today. Today. Yes. Another one today. And it was, it was, it was a sign of a client who is giving us funds of anything that is raised on behalf of the company. And the bank has already approved that they are giving them over a million naira. Wow. So it's that one that letter. The guy came to sign it today, and we got a call from the man that they released funds very soon. So I mean, it's just like it looks like as if effort are we put in. It's not commensurate with the result. The um, effort that is put is not enlarge tent. Enlarge your tent as far as your eyes can see. Glory to Jesus. God perfecting it. In fact, God has perfected it. And you are going to yet see far much more in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's get out one more time for Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, more testimonies. Quickly, more testimonies. If you want to give your testimonies, you can please come forward. Come on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for that opportunity. Thank you, mommy. And somebody so, take right. baby from her. Okay, so on Sunday, when um, we finished the meeting here, I was in that room myself and Deborah, and I had a leading to just pray because my account was on zero nera. <laughs> so I just knelt down. We're just in and talking about it, and I said, I know that it's too faithful to fail me. And after making that declaration, they walked in here. Just a few minutes, my husband just sent me a message that one facility that we have been trying to get, that they called him for our interview. In fact, called him for an interview alone. I just said, God, we've gotten, gotten the ran to the altar. I said, thanking God, thanking God. Because during the conference, my faith has just risen that anything you decree, you declare, you will see it come to pass because I, 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 we declared what happened in conference and we saw it come to pass. I had that faith that anything I say, anything I decree and declare and believe in my heart, God will bring it to pass. And immediately I just saw that. I said, God, you are faithful. I was just saying, ah, there is nothing, there is nothing. You have brought sin tangible. I just want to return Hallelujah. all glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. 
and light the place of your tent. Glory to Jesus. Enlarge the place of your tent. God will do exceeding abundantly, far above what you can ask, imagine. How? According to his power that is at work in you. Not according to your power, but according to his power. But yours is to dream, to envision it, to see it as far as eyes can see. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my testimony is actually long overdue. I, I came to the heritage broken and depressed after coming to Lagos. Five months I stayed at home without anything. I decided that around this time I'll be going back to Enugu because I was fed up. So we did a one week prayer. It was in January. On the Thursday, there was a mighty move of God in the church. And that okay, day I heard yeah, the voice I mean, I in my remember heart. That Thursday. I did to my heart, I have given you a job. So mind you, I've not gotten any interview at this point. Nothing to show that this could come to pass. So I was led in my heart during the preachings on sacrifice to lay down a seed. It was not much, but to me, point it was, it was quite something. Ah, I had looking for jobs for me. I had people in staff, um, uh, volume and gas. I had my cousins, my family. But this job, nobody recommended them. Wow. What a job with Africa's finest, with Dangote Group. Wow. Nobody recommended it. And Is God faithful? And my salary is 10 times more than the seed I laid down. God faithful. Is God faithful? I said, Is God faithful? So, the conference I came, and, um, you know, uh, the, the man of God reached on the last day, he said that pray for promotion, for promotion comes new sets of demands. With this, I, we are expected to know a lot, to be able to do a lot. So I was feeling quite overwhelmed due to the things I would have to to stay. So during the conference, Pastor Richard prayed me and I felt once a feeling of peace. And that's the voice. I am with you. So I want to thank you, sir. Hallelujah. And I want to thank God for you. Jesus be praised. Give Jesus praise, somebody. We serve a faithful God. That nobody record. All the people that could have get a job couldn't. Pain is the help of man. How many of you know that the hearts of kings are in, in God's hands? He put it in one person's heart to do you good. And a person cannot otherwise. A person will be burdened for you and will rest until they have done you good. There are people like that that God has just put out that. There is nothing I can do about it. I'm thinking of how to do them good. And I know the burden is from God in my heart. And there are people also God has put me in their heart. They're cursed. And I see this happening to you. In this season, favor us. Ten times more is yours. In the name of Jesus. 
Go ahead, your testimony. Thank you, Papa, for this opportunity. Thank you, Ma. Uh, I want to give this testimony of what God has done from this church and also give a testimony of what God did for me during the conference. Uh, I've been in this church quite long, but a colleague invited me to this church and I joined it and I felt and I know, yes, there is God. Yeah. I, I graduated 2021. And all this why, my certificate was withheld. They didn't release my certificate. So, since all that time, I couldn't get a better job with it. So, I was doing all kinds of jobs to sustain a living. And so, when I came to Lagos, doing different kinds of things, I met one lady. So, after some conversation with her and listening, she corrected my contact. So last two December, I went to, I was still in the village. Her call came, I picked it. She, she asked, you, you, you studied chemistry in school? I said, yes, ma, I studied chemistry. She said, how good? I said, I can teach chemistry without textbook. I can even dot particles on it. She said, okay, she come to Lagos. That, that where I am at, in my village. She said, I should come to Lagos. The next day, I started coming. So she recommended the school to me. And when I went to the school, the man did not ask me about certificate and everything. She just said, can I do the school? I, he said, how good I am? I said, ma, no matter of how good I am, let's go to the class. So, so we went to the class. The, the highest top chemistry that is always difficult for some teachers is organic chemistry. So I said, I will teach organic chemistry for you. I started teaching, both the physics teacher was, everybody was in their head. I got my job immediately. Wow. So I know, to my, I know that I see problem. Yeah, I know that I see problem. So along the line, I, though she made I think the highest paid teachers, they paid because of how good she thinks. Yes. So, why she called me to our office at her home that you know all this while that I had not paid my certificate my, quali my qualification I'd go and get them ah that is why I don't have certificate at hand <laughs> as war <well. laughs> and <laughs> that time that time I have started coming to church then so every time I call to check if my certificate is out. They will tell me that, looking for digs. They are looking for my SSC. Just giving me different kinds of nonsense excuses. I'll be like, what is this? So when that thing, when they told me I came to church on one service, I prayed to God. I told God I know that you can't fail me. So I called my mother, and she said that, wow, I thank God that my result is out. Yeah. But that is not just the good part of it yet. God, now, there is a money I'm supposed to pay to. So she's not telling me the money. It's a very huge amount of money to get it because of everything that I've done. I said, Brent. So I was on my Facebook. One of my schoolmates, I was, the person studied chemistry, was my junior, yeah. So he chatted me up. I said, ah, this one, this is chatting me. I opened the chat, he asked me, sir, please, that you saw them uh, on the NYC list. I said, wow, it's good. He said, yes. So I can start the, the process. Now, when I told my colleague, my, my colleague to work, and I said, for my name to come out on that, that means I have done everything. I said, wow. I said, but the money the doctor just sent me the bill to pay, how come? So, to God be the glory, I didn't pay it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, and this Hallelujah. is something that has been happening for past years, but when I came to this church. Jesus God, be praised. Jesus praised. Are you clapping or trying to clap? Only God could have done this for him. Hallelujah. His certificate was found, the bill was cleared. Only Jesus could have done it. So, 
praise master Jesus. I can't say it all, what God has done, because, you know, it's not, if you keep on calling for testimony, you don't have time. But there's a friend, I, it's, it's, it's pending me mad that the friend went back. I, I was coming back home, I met my friend, he had a friend, so I met his friend. I don't know what the cousin, I don't know how the guy tried to open to me. He started telling me many things about him, how, how he was very wealthy and everything and so on. That time we are doing our praise, uh, thans, praise and thanksgiving last year. So he told me how everything went about. I said, do you give churches money? If you said, yes, I've done something yeah, he, he used to. I said, okay, now we are doing uh, praises in our church. Come, let us go and praise God. So that day, we sat there. Praises during the praise, he was praising. I believe it's from the from his yes. So when we got home, he saw me scores. So he said, "This is the first time to have this kind of music first. And I said that this is answer. So before a while, she's in business. She's into selling of cars. So the next, the person called by he picked. They asked him to bring her. So he told me that if you finally sell this car, you make 1.5 M as a gain. I said, God will do it. Now, at the long run, he now the car, I made roughly 510,000 naira. But I said, this one started. So what we are going to do is that, that God did it. Let's keep on coming. So when the money now came, before I knew it, I couldn't even see him again. <laughs> the last time I saw him, it was not looking that fine. I know that somebody is spending me, but I want to thank God for showing that yes, God is answering prayers. We have a faithful God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Give the next person the mic. Good day, everyone. Praise God. That is you so much, Mama. Thank you so much. I will return all the glory back to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. On Sunday, I shared my testimony of my dead father coming alive. Jesus alone could have done that. Because when we asked him, he said he was seeing white things. So literally, was, he was gone, and then God brought that to life. One of the other testimony for the whole situation was, when I was going to go that day, God told me he was giving him a second chance. Mm. So there were things that we've been praying about that God should take it completely, and then... So by the time um, we got back, that park lady, I couldn't go because I came to church. It was still on oxygen when I left. During the service, I got a call. He was active. Like, I was calling and he was sounding. He's like, he wants to do birthday party. Like, you could see that joy in his voice. I could hear joy in his voice. I want to thank God because the things we've been trying to take out from him, it was not like he wants to bond them. Wow. He wants to give it in. That those things does not work. It was one leg in and one leg out. And I'm like, thank Jesus, because redemption saved him so that he can see light. So no, thank God, because he didn't take up to 24 hours before he was discharged from the hospital. Jesus alone be glorified. Jesus be praised, somebody. Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. Jesus be praised. It, it could have been a different story. Could have been a different story. But Jesus, no. Mercy, Son. I remember when I called him today. I initially didn't pick it. <laughs> because I felt I have so much in my hands of Let me pick one. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We serve a faithful God. We serve a merciful God. And I gave him a second chance. He probably would have been somewhere, you know, flaming right now. But Jesus said no. Good evening, sir. 
Mama, thank you for this. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm actually not supposed to give this testimony now. I was planning to give it on the, but Pastor Femi stirred up my faith and said, give your testimony. I just want to tell you because, ah, Jesus. I, I'm just a test, like, it pays to serve God in your youth age. I broke barriers in my family that, bo- oh, that nobody has ever done. My first quarter alone, my first quarter alone, because actually from, starting from last year, because like I said, I'm not supposed to give this test, it's just a whole lot, and I was thinking of my family, like my mommy, my daddy, everybody on Sunday. But yeah, let me just start from this one, and I'll probably on Sunday, I'll do the rest. On, um, okay, I got back from a couple of weeks ago, and uh, my mom told me that where they are staying, the land of them eviction and the whole lot, the, the, the house on their head. They saw the house on their head and they're looking for where to stay. So my faith was like, so she was like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? So I was like, ah. So let me think that I just don't have anything to say because I know that uh, Odogo of the family that I get to. So I was like, ah. Let me think. So I just went to the bedroom and I was like, God, what should I do? So my head, I was like, oh, let's go and look for the bedroom apartment that we just moved there, all of them. That's how I just came outside. I told her, ah, because I was in the bedroom, I just stomped my feet down. Oh, thank you for this, God. Ah, let's do it. I don't have money. She, she. But I was like, let's go and take this thing. Then, wife self fellowship pays. I won't lie to you. I was in the sales center a couple of weeks ago. The Sunday before our um, conference started, two weeks. So I was just there, doing where we are now, safe and we're just learning. That fits just stayed up in me that you're believing God for three bedroom apartments. Why do you believe God for a full house? Ah, yeah. The next day I went to a Molly Face one. I started for houses, my father. I went there, I saw a house. I called the pastor. I was like, sir, I need this house. I visit everything. And it was like, 100 million era. Hey! I was like, God. And I divided because me, I'm a mathematician. I was, I had it times one. That, okay. Let's say 600 million. Do you have percent? Do you have two percent? She, she, I don't have close to it. I was like, ah, God, what is this that mean to me? 600 million, I don't have one percent. How do you want to do that? I've actually not given this testimony to him. I've not even said anything. I just did a sent to Pastor Richard. I was like, Pastor Richard, why didn't the house dedication this Sunday? Should I come again? Why didn't the house dedication this Sunday? I called the developer, sir. I was like, okay, yes, let's do this. Till with this podcast conference, I had no money, I had no idea. Yesterday, I went to see a colleague of mine, and I was receiving back-to-back calls. Back because I've actually been doing adverts, but like, yeah, really, the results I've been getting is not the one that will bubbles and all of that. That's why this woman just called me. Ah, just. The woman called me, she was like, she needs that meant that do I have it here, do I have it here? And I was like, yes, I have it. But our budget was not actually, she was like, just leave it. We spoke to late last night. She was like, what do you want, sir? What do you want? I tell you, this woman is currently speaking with the developer, of how I am going to own that house instead of our own daddy. My family that nobody has ever owned, they have never owned a plot. I was like, I was the first person to break the barrier. I was the first person to. Wait, slow down. Explain that part again because people didn't catch. So, yeah. Just last time, because I have somebody who does my fit designer and everything, so I was like, it fits. Like, we'll just do this thing that we're going to do too. I do house dedication and house warming. So I was like, I was going to be like, for pastor, which just come and bless house. I don't even know how I was going to get the house. I don't even know. That's how, late night, she just called. She just, my, my guy, uh, have I gotten, I don't know, but she was just like, she was just interested in what I was the conversation just turned out. What do you want? I was just like, uh, presently, I'm going to get evicted, and they are giving us. The landlord does not even care how they are going to do something. That's how I just, I just explained everything. So like, do you have any plans? Yeah, I said, yes, I've made my, because that Omoli face one, I've been going there like back, back to back since last week. I was just like, I'll just go to the front of the, this is you. Yes, I'll just open the gate sometimes. If the gate man is there, I'll just open it outside. I took my best friend, I took, I think I took, I took my younger brother. I was like, let's go. Let's go. Which face, sir? I was already running mad because, when I was doing the video, I was just like, to entrance and Lily, this is your room. This is, with, ah, God. And I was just like, God, this is it. This is it. It actually happened here, too. The man is just showing interest. But I was just like, and I said, he came to give the testimony that it is actually not what he, he was supposed to say, but like he just gave it. That thing just stirred up in me that, yes, God, yes. Just stand up. Because that testimony is just, if I start with what happened from January till last month, 
will not live here. So I just say, let me forward it and come to the vital one. Say that God just, I'm just giving this testimony in the fact saying that woman to me, asking me what I want. What? Nobody has even asked me. So somebody will just come to you, ask you what, and the next thing is. Okay, yeah, so the, the woman asks, what do you want? Yes, sir. So what next? What next? So that, ah, that is this house, sir, at Omolife. She sent me the details and everything. And I sent her. Then I sent about the developer. And even the woman, like, this is actually what I was like, yes, sir. Hey, yes, ma. So like, Let's do this. Let's get it started. And I was like, God, is this you? She said you should get it started. Yes, sir. She wants to give it to she you. She wants to buy it for me for and you. my family. I, I, I don't think you're getting the drip. You know, let me tell you what happened. I knew the test was going to give. Before I came up, I came into the Lord. Pastor Rachel came to see that somebody wants to dedicate the house on Sunday. I said, who? Scribe. Ah. I said, that, that then that boy in Unilag. He said yes. I say, are you, are you? And then she showed me the house. And then she showed me it's in a mall if it's one. I, I say how. He said I don't know. I say how. You may not see the rain. You may not see the wind. But your valley shall feel. You may not see the wind. You may not see the rain. But your valley shall be filled. It's all of you who think that you have to struggle till you break in pieces. Before you get anything, now are you hearing? All those of you who, who have the mindset, you have to sweat and struggle until people begin to pity you. Before anything can happen, before you break a certain quarter, can hear. You don't need a certificate to dream. Don't need any qualification dream. You don't need to have university to be able to dream. The principle is as far as your eyes can see. He was putting the word work, going to the location. Not based on what's in the pocket, but based on what is in the pocket. Exercising the scripture as far as your eyes can see. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? There are people that do not give rest until they have favored you. But you see, you will be open. So now, now you can dream. When I say that saviors are running, saviors, that is not thinking about what he wants to view for your satisfaction. No. He's looking beyond. He's looking at how he can use you as a channel. To raise others. We serve a faith God. Seventy-five verse, I think verse five and six. He said promotion does not come from the south, west, or east comes from him. We say he lifts up one and sets down another. In this same country where people are complaining and complaining, 
see what is happening. They keep confessing what they are confessing. No, everybody is broke. Things are dry. If we have to, ah, instead of all, ah, we, we don't know if we are going to die in this country. We, only you. God will raise Bilonias from church. I'm not talking about Bilonias, Bilonias. Because several millionaires already. Now I'm talking about Bilonias. Oh, are you kidding? Some people are not catching it because they think, ah, I've not even taught 1,000. How can I begin to talk billion? Can you imagine at this level? thinking of who to squat with naturally and then at the most you got just if you can just make it happen give me just one face to face you i would just be fine i think that we 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 should just <laughs> We we will continue the rest of the money next time. Just wave those hands and bless Jesus. Begin to appreciate Jesus. Appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him, somebody. Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Joseph to bed one night a prisoner the following morning he woke up he was made a prime minister. listen if we say that the same yesterday today and forever this is exactly what it means this is what it means it's the same yesterday today forever bless him of jesus somebody bless him bless him bless him And you know uh, that that young man addicted tighter. I know that. I mean, as a pastor, I should know those tight and those not tight. An uh, addicted. If it's, even if it's five thousand, he would tie five hundred. Addicted. You see, there are some things that if you if you have a vision of financial supernatural financial lifting there are some big things you must establish because if it is god it is god alone if it is god it will be god alone supernatural god alone. some basic things you can't joke with some basic things. I mean, can you see the testimonies? Testimonies. Look at the one that Elizabeth shared two weeks ago. Can you see the testimonies? God, I mean, they back, now, one of the scriptural pillars God gave me when the vision of the king's heritage, listen to this scriptural pillar that he gave, first Samuel chapter 2, verse 8, that he raises the poor from the dust, the needy from the donkey, and he sets them as the princes and makes them in thrones of king. Thrones. That's, he gave me that scripture attached to the vision attached to the vision and we have seen it happen but you know we haven't even seen anything yet now it's about to happen on scale that we have not imagined yet amen
very, very, very soon. Yes, sir. We are going to celebrate the, the first billion test. Amen. You think it is God? I mean, can you imagine how simply this happened? Billion testimony is as simple as you walk into somebody who is looking for a partner for something, and for some reason, he just looks at you, and some tells you you are the man. Something tells him you are the one. You don't look it. But that, something does him, he, he, he pick this person. And then he sits down with you, he talks to you. You don't even understand what is in his mind. And as you are talking, you are forming what is inside his mind. And he's just smiling. Just find out that he's smiling. You don't understand why. And at the end of the day, he now lays it before you. Initially, you, you think he's a jerk. Is, why is this guy whining me? <laughs> why is he playing? Why is he playing? Let him just stop playing, Joe. And then he goes on and on and on. And then the next thing he, he says, can you come with a lawyer in the contract? Then it begins to dawn on you that it, it, it seems like this is not a joke anymore. And then you go get a lawyer. You get there. It's actually, and then you pen signature. Fire. Night you won't sleep. <laughs> that night sleep will run because you you just on the bed and like how? anything here. Just get, 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 get ready. Dr. David taught something on Monday night. Don't miss it. G12. Don't miss it. It's a fermenter kingdom key. Yes, sir. You know, if wealthy man, you have a partner. That partner has no choice but to get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if you co-labor with God, who is the owner of all, you taste of his wealth. Yes. I'm going to teach more on that subsequent Wednesdays. The power of the G12. Then how to make it easy because I, I had to go back to search on it and I see the fundamental exploits that have been done with that people across the world when you partner with God there's nothing God cannot commit into your hand there's nothing he can give you why because you now become a trustee of his resources a trustee. Put those hands and bless the name of Jesus. Give him praise. I pray to him. We break all it down, chorus. Super Maria, new ever. Who you are, 
say today forevermore what you say is what you do you never change you never fail you are faithful to the end faithful God I worship you I worship you You prove yourself in my life, but I've come to realize you are too faithful to me. You are too faithful to me, God. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me, Jesus. You are too faithful to be for me. Oh Lord, you prove yourself. You prove yourself in my life. Lord of God to be alive, you are too faithful to me. You're always the same. Here today, today, forever. You remain the same. Even when we don't say more, you're always conceived. Lord Jesus, you've been conceived. Come by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Lord, we the O oh God, that we have overcome. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we partake of the body, the blood of Jesus tonight, we overrule every plan of darkness. Amen. Against the lives of a member of the church. Amen. Any member of our families. Amen. We counsel any negative man. Amen. We bring it to naught in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command judgment upon the assembly of the wicked. Amen. Who conspire against anyone of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May their table come a snare. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we also partake of the body and the blood of Jesus. We affirm that the benefit of the cross is ours. Amen. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you, Lord. Declare that the testimonies multiply. Amen. The testimonies multiply. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
All right, it, uh, it's offering time quickly. Let's bring out our offering. We must learn to give to God generously without any admonition. Let generosity in your offerings become a second nature. Let it become natural, normal. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what we give. Thank you for accepting our friends and our tithes and our seeds. By faith in your word, we receive abundant heart in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, pass the box quickly. Glory to Jesus. All right, um, I did announce on Monday evening that they have a workers' lunch. That's the hold. <laughs> Next week, by God's grace, I understand there are about two days, they call it the next week. We're going to, it's one of those days to have the lunch. New is to be decided. You will get the full details on Sunday. Praise the name of Jesus. All right, service continues on Sunday. Now, I was um, getting suggestions about um, about continuing the pattern we had in the comp where we reduce the number of services and then create extensions. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, no. you don't have opinion. Huh? You think it's okay? Think okay. How many people don't agree with you? You don't agree with it. Because of rave, is it? Rave, okay. Let's leave rave out of it. Uh, apart from rave. <laughs> so that you experience the same ambience. Maybe, maybe that help them to develop punctuality. They learn to come early. Yes. But, but we'll still think about it. I understand that the experience outside was as good as the one inside. Yes. So, we'll look at the suggestion. Uh, I right, will look at it and then we we'll, because it, it helps me too. Yes, it's true. But would we'll, um, take the best option with all the um, points together on the table with the best decision. In the name of Jesus. Okay, join us today for the first time. It's your first time of worship with us. Can you please indicate with a show of hands we can recognize you and um, welcome you. This is your first, I'm not, you know, including the conference. You may have attended the conference, but this is your first service in Serity. Please indicate with a show of hands. Anyone? Please be on in. 
We're glad you joined us at the end of the service. Okay, the hands are enough. God bless you. <laughs> at the end of the service, you walk on, you take your seat on any of these black chairs. The ministers will give you more information about us and let you know once again we're glad you joined us today. And I'm about to see you on Sunday in Air Force services. And you will be most glad if you show up and have an experience of our Sundays. God bless you real good. Okay, Pastor Richard, am I missing anything? Be upstanding as we close the service. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord perfect all that concerns you. And face continue to shine upon you. In the name of Jesus. Um, for those volunteer workers, right, um, been asked what happens afterwards. If, if you've been through membership school, you can, I mean, you automatically you know, qualify to be integrated in the workforce. If you've not been to MEM school, we, we are going to make an exception for you of the fact that you volunteered. So typically, you are supposed to drop off right away, but we are going to permit you to, to serve, but you have to immediately have to enroll in membership school while you are serving. You don't need to drop off from the workforce. Okay? So, so for make sacrifice to serve, praise the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus. So every other information and detail your group heads will give you. Who are you? Who, who are you? The King's Heritage. <laughs>